I worked for 45 years. I worked with the Austin Independent School District. I worked for the state of Texas. I worked for the Travis County Facilities Management Corporate Company. And I part time for the city of Austin Parks and Recreation Department, especially at Zaragoza. Um, I failed on an elevator and hurt my disc, and I had to I had to I had to resign my jobs. I lost my apartment. I couldn't pay my my rent. It was a month to month also, and I lost it. And like I said, for the first time, I I was on the other side of the fence, and I survived by, by help people helping me out. When I was umpiring at the parks, I would stay overnight and volunteer to lock up and turn the lights off. And then I would get a cardboard and sleep overnight. I knew where to sleep. Nobody would bother me, and I prayed that nobody would rob me or hurt me or no snake or mosquitoes get me. But I made it. I started getting disability payments for my hearing, and I bought a car, and I lived in my car, and my daughter let me stay at her parking lot. I, I, I stayed at Walmart parking lots, I stayed here and there, but I get up early and leave, and, and I, I, I pray that uh, other people get this opportunity that I'm getting today, and I, I'm very thankful for the Guadalupe Development Neighborhood Council, especially Ms. Yolanda Alimon Limon, and her staff, who's helped me with my paperwork, and it's especially with these bonds that are coming up. Uh, I'll be an advocate for y'all and help try to get some people to vote because we need to get these homeless veterans that really need more help than I have. And I'm sure they'll be appreciative as I have. I thank you very much.